my name's Jim Scrivener. Um, I'm currently living in Hastings in the south coast of the UK. I guess my biggest challenge in, in teaching is the same as teachers all over the world find, and it's the, the usual typical problems of large classes, lots of different ability levels in classes, and trying to find a way to deal with that has been something that's interested me for a long time. I don't know what an ideal classroom would be like. I suspect one thing is that it's going to change a great deal over the years to come. I, I have a strong suspicion that the classroom of the future is actually a virtual classroom and that, that a lot of teachers and students will meet together in virtual reality type environments. Um, I don't know if I'd call that the ideal classroom. The ideal classroom is, is anyone, virtual or real, where students and teachers have a good relationship with each other and where they can listen to each other and interact with each other in enjoyable, useful, engaging ways. I started my teaching career uh, as a volunteer teacher in Kenya, in East Africa, and I worked there in a rural school for two years. And since then I've worked in the Soviet Union, in, in, in the former Soviet Union, in Georgia and in Russia, and I've taught in Hungary for, for seven years, plus a lot of short courses in many, many different places all over the world. I'm sometimes asked what, what I think is the most important classroom tip for teachers. And my answer is usually this idea of not rubber stamping. I don't know if you know what I mean by rubber stamping. It's when a, a student says something and immediately the teacher says yes or good or excellent, like putting a rubber stamp of approval on what the student said. And if the teacher can find a way simply to restrain themselves, to withhold that rubber stamp of approval, maybe just for five seconds or 20 seconds, then that keeps open the possibility of other students in the classroom saying something or responding or arguing or maybe somebody saying, no, I think I've got a different answer. So simply withholding that, that stamp of teacher approval. I think that's the single thing that would make the biggest difference to, to lots of classes.